one note day one today we're going to be talking about properties of exponents our learning target today is to be able to apply the product quotient and power properties of exponents in order to simplify exponential expressions so here's our example we have 3x to the fourth what's my coefficient do you guys know well, what the coefficient is, it is a number that is multiplied by a variable. So my number that is being multiplied by a variable is 3. The next thing that we're talking about is the base. And the base is any number or variable that has an exponent. So who does the exponent belong to? Well, the exponent belongs to the x. Then we have the exponent itself. Now, most of you are going to be like, I know what the exponent is. Yes, that is the 4. Okay? But what that tells us is it tells us how many times to multiply. the base by itself. Okay, and the last thing that we're talking about is the power. Now, the power is the base and the exponent. So the base and the exponent together. So together, that would be the x to the fourth. Okay, so now that we have that, we can start our notes. And oh my gosh, where'd my notes go? Hold on a sec. Okay, we're back. So we're going to talk about three properties today. The first property that we're going to be talking about is the product of powers. So if two or more of the same bases are multiplied, you must add the exponents. And the key thing is, is the bases stay the same. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. If I have 2 cubed times 2 to the second, how many 2s do I have? So what this is telling me is that I have the same base, so I add the exponents. So it's saying 2, and then I add the 3 plus 2, which is 2 to the fifth. And if you don't know what 2 to the 5th is, you're going 2 raised to the 5th power. Okay? And that tells me that my answer is 32. Okay? Now, that's the fast way to do it. The long way to think is, well, okay, 2 cubed means I have 1, 2, 3 twos. 2 squared means that I have 1, 2. All together, that's 2 to the 5th, and 2 to the 5th is 32. Okay? So there's multiple ways to get to the same answer, except you're not going to be wanting to write out when we have 2 to the 17th. You're not going to want to write 2, two times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, however many it are. You don't want to do that. Okay? So that's why we've got these rules and shortcuts to help us with that, okay? So with x to the fourth and x to the fifth, notice the bases are the same. I add the exponents, and we get x to the ninth. Now, I do not know what x is, so I can't give you an exact number. We just leave it as x to the ninth. All right. Next is the quotient of powers. So if two or more of the same base are divided, now we must 
subtract the exponents. And remember, it's not saying it on mine, but the bases stay the same. I'm sure it says it on yours. Okay? So, 3 to the 5th over 3 to the 4th. So the rule is saying that whoever wins, we subtract. Okay? So the top wins. 5 minus 4. What's 5 minus 4? 1. And the 1 is on the top. Okay? Once again, the long way to show you how to do this is the top. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. On the bottom, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, they cancel, they cancel, they cancel, they cancel. And on the top, there's 3. Okay, but we're not going to want to do that every single time. Okay? So, on our next one. Who wins? Does the top win or the bottom win? The bottom wins, okay? So, the bottom wins. 9 minus 2, or 9 minus 7 is 2. And everything cancels out on the top. And when everything cancels out on the top, we put a 1. A 1. And I'm just going to add those numbers. 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 6. And then 2 to the 6th power, 2 raised to the 6th power is 64. So 64 is my final answer. Now, number 2, once again, this is multiplication. So it's product of powers. I'm going to add those up. I've got negative 3, it's the same base. 4 plus 2 is 6. Now, when I'm doing negative 3 to the 6th, I'm going to type it in exactly as I see it, including the parentheses. Because if you do it without the parentheses, you're going to get a different answer. Okay? So this is 729. All right, number three, I have the same bases, so I'm going to add the exponents. Four plus five is nine, and that's all I can do. Number 20, number 20, number four. Now, this is the first time we've seen this negative four and the negative five out there. Those are coefficients. We're going to do exactly what it tells us to do, and that's multiply. Negative 5 times negative 4 is a positive 20. And then I'm going to add the exponents. 6 plus 3 is 9. All right, we're good with the first page. Now let's flip it over. So, with the coefficients, all we do is what it tells us to. Negative 1 half times 16. Half of 16 is 8, and it's going to be a negative 8. Same base. Add my exponents. 10 plus 7 is 17. Okay, so don't get freaked out. Find, um, I'm going to do the exponent, or not the exponents, the coefficients first. Negative two-thirds in parentheses, times that by 18, and we get negative 12. So negative 12 out front, and I'm going to find the same bases. So that's going to be 3 plus 2, we get 5. And then n to the 5th and n to the 9th is the 14th. 
So our final answer is negative 12 times m to the 5th, n to the 14th. All right, number seven. So now we're looking at the quotient of power rules. I have the same base. Who wins, the top or the bottom? Yeah, the top wins. And the top wins by two, because five minus three is two. And then two to the second power, two times two, four. Good. I hope you didn't use your calculator for that. Okay, now. See the difference between 7 and 8? Who wins, the top or the bottom? The bottom wins this time. So everything on the top cancels out. I need to make sure that that 2 is on the bottom. Okay? Now, 2 squared, we just did it, is 4. But this time it's 1 fourth. Because that 4 is on the bottom. All right, number nine. Who wins, top or bottom? Good, the top wins, so my answer is going to be on the top, and 12 minus 4 is 8. Who wins for 10? Yeah, the bottom wins. So I'm going to make sure that there's a 1 on the top because my final answer needs to be on the bottom. And 12 minus 4 is 8. All right. Don't get freaked out by these. We're just going to do them one step at a time. So first, we're going to look at the A's. Who wins, the top or the bottom? Yeah, the bottom wins, and the bottom wins by 2. Now the Bs. Who wins with the Bs, the top or the bottom? The bottom. And what's 2 minus 1? One? 1. Okay, now we're looking at the Cs. Who wins, the top or the bottom? The top, 9 minus 2 is 7, and then last, the Ds, the Ds end up uh, canceling, okay? So I'm just going to make that look a little smaller, and that's my final answer. That's all I can do. All we're doing is just trying to keep track of all of our information, okay? Number 12. This is the first time that we've seen this with coefficients. So what we want to do is just treat that like any other problem. I need to do negative 4 divided by 12, and I want that as a fraction. So it's negative 1 third. So that means negative 1 third. So now we're going to look at the x's, and the x's cancel. And now the y's. Who wins with the y's, the top or the bottom? Yeah, the top, and the top wins by 2. So we have negative 1 y squared divided by 3, and the only way we could change that is just to get rid of that 1. You don't have to have it in your final answer. All right, number 13, now we're going to be talking about the power of power rules. Remember, if there's 